Hello everyone! Today I have a tutorial for you, namely how to make these cute sparkly dangling crystal earrings. This is quite a quick project and it's also quite easy, so even beginners can make these. Let's get on so to it. So here is what you will need for this project. You will need various crystals. They can be any style you want to, any color you want to. I have here some Swarovski crystals in different sizes and in different colors. So you can see I have real tiny ones there and then bigger ones as well. You will need two ear wires and they can be any style you want to. Mine are this very basic style. You will need some chain. Now the type of chain for this project, this kind of chain is really the best that has small round loops. For the simple reason that we're going to uh, make danglers out of these crystals and then we're going to put the crystal danglers onto the chain and if your chain has very small loops you will have a lot of trouble putting in the danglers so for example something like this really doesn't work for um, this project because the, they are so tiny there the loops so something like this works really well for this project then you will need some head pins and these head pins here are <laughs> really kind of small the reason is because I happen to have a lot of these head pins and I've been wanting to use these up for a long time and now I found a project with which to do it. If you're a beginner, you haven't done a lot of jewelry, I recommend you get longer ones. They don't have to be these tiny ones um, because if you're a beginner, you absolutely you want more space here to work with. So you can also use longer head pins. And then of course you will need pliers. You will need cutting pliers round nose pliers and uh, then also chain nose pliers. I started my project by cutting two pieces of chain of equal length. These both have eight loops and then I attached them onto my ear wires and the attachment was really easy. I just opened up that loop by pulling it sideways and then I slipped on this chain and closed them. So it's really really easy to put this on. And the reason why I put them on already at the beginning of the project is that it's much easier to handle these when you have something to kind of hold on to. So that's why I recommend doing this at the very so beginning. So let's make the actual danglers then. And for making those you will need one head pin and one crystal. Slide the crystal onto the head pin, just like that. Then you will need to take your round nose pliers and make a simple loop here. Now, if you don't know how to make a simple loop, I'll show you quickly. Just grab this head pin with your pliers right on top of the crystal. And, oh, let me do that. I need to do it that way. My pliers are a little bit wonky, so that's why I switched them the other way, because they work better that way. <laughs> okay, so now let's pull this back. So until it's horizontal and reposition the pliers like that, sort of like vertical now. And then bring this right on top over like that. And now we need to reposition our pliers again, this time to be um, horizontal. And push this little tail from underneath the pliers. And this can be a little bit tough, but you can do it. And then turn right towards yourself to kind of like complete the loop. Now if you're not happy with the loop, if it looks a little bit wonky, don't worry. You really can't see the loops in this design, so it doesn't really matter if your loops are a little bit wonky. And you can always fiddle with it by um, pushing on this tail. So like here I can make it bigger by pushing on to the tail. So you can do that if you want to. All we need to do now is just trim off the excess right here where the two pieces of wire meet but make sure that you won't cut into the wire that's behind here. And you just snip this off if you have a good pair of pliers. I don't. These are quite new cutting pliers, but they are not very sharp. So I need to do a little bit of wiggling, just like that. So now I got it off. So there it is. And next, of course, you will need to attach this to your chain. Let me take my other piece of earring here. Now, when you are attaching these, make sure that you attach them evenly on the chain. So you will have to make sure that you attach something onto each of these loops. And since you always usually attach on one side of them, make sure that you attach on both sides. And the way to attach this is very, very, very simple. You just open the loop by pushing 
or pulling it towards yourself. Remember, you never open loose by pulling apart like this because it will weaken the link and maybe break it. Now, since I don't have any other dangles here yet, I can put this anywhere I want to. So I'm just going to put it right there and then just close um, the loop back up just like that by pulling away from yourself. And here we have a first dangle on our earring. Now you will continue doing this, just attaching these little dangles onto your chain until you are happy with them. So let me continue to do that for a while. So here they are, the finished earrings. And as you can see, I put these little stoppers on the ear wires so that they can stay better in one's ear. And here you can see more closely. I didn't actually count how many little danglers I put in here, but I put the same amount in both of them using the same amount of each color. They might be positioned a little bit differently here on the chain, but the colors are the same and the amount of little danglers is the same. Now these are super, super cute earrings and this is actually a great gift idea as well because this is not hard to make at all. It just takes a little bit of time to make the danglers and attach them onto the chain. So this was my tutorial and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.